Hi, this is Jason, and I'm going to take you through a little tour of Overt, the Open Virtualization Manager. We're going to be using Overt 3.1, and we're just going to go through the basic steps for creating a virtual machine. So we start off by uh, logging in to the Web Administration Console of Overt, and um, Here's what the initial view looks like. You can see I have some virtual machines set up. I'm just going to adjust this a little bit because I have the resolution down. And we're going to create a new machine. So I've chosen a new server. I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to assign it an operating system type. I'm just going to go with other Linux for now. Here are some of the other options that you have for your virtual machine. It's mostly pretty straightforward stuff. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Ah, I'll give it an extra core. All right, so once we have the machine, we need to give it a network interface. And uh, I'll go ahead and do that. And then we have to configure, or we're going to configure, a virtual disk. We have a few different options here. We can connect it to an iSCSI uh, LUN. Uh, if we have an existing disk that we'd like to attach, we can uh, attach that. Uh, right now I'm just going to create a new disk and I'm going to uh, thin provision the disk and I'm going to put it on uh, one of my data domains, data1. Alright, so we're set there. Now, uh, before I boot off of the uh, off of an installed disk, we'll look over here at my uh, ISO image domain. And this is where all of the different ISO images that I can use for installation are stored. So we're going to go ahead and do run once because I only want the install disk attached the, the first time I install it. You can see I could also use a boot floppy if I wanted to. And there's the turnkey Linux WordPress uh, virtual plants is what I'm going to use here. So the uh, virtual machine is starting up and I'm going to view my console to interact with it. Now at this point I'm going to speed this up to speed through the installation process, but this is just uh, you know, exactly as you would install any operating system, uh, you know, just like with other virtualization programs, it's pretty straightforward. This is some setup, and here's my IP address for the machine. So I'm going to go ahead and visit my WordPress instance and here it is WordPress this is also a little sped up but you see here's my WordPress instance it's uh, a little uh, needs an update to the latest version so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I can see that my uh, plugins uh, are also in need of update so at this point we have uh, the VM up and running on over uh, pretty straightforward but but uh, we can take a look here at uh, at uh, live migration. So I'm going to go over to the plugins uh, update area here and yeah here we go. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that all the plugins be updated and then I'm going to go over to over it here and I'm going to choose to migrate from node 2 where it started out to node 1 while the uh, update process for the plugins is happening in the background. Again, pretty straightforward stuff. So it's still on node 2, and that little pop-up in the bottom, I think, was telling me that it had disconnected from my uh, remote console and it reconnected. And if I refresh the UI here, I'll see that, yep, there it is on node 1. So there we have a live migration. We click back and uh, all the updates are applied as expected. So that worked. So there you go. It's um, just uh, the basics of setting up a VM, doing some live migration. And um, for more information, go to the uh, Overt site at uh, overt.org and you can get the information for uh, installing Overt and uh, joining in on the project uh, if you are so inclined. Uh, thank you.